think to myself What a wonderful world When is the trip? The trip is the end of March and beginning of April. What will the singers be doing? Singers will be touring lots of different sites in New York City. So we're going to be going to Chinatown. We'll have the opportunity to visit the 9-11 Museum. We'll go to the Museum of Natural History. Uh, we'll see Times Square. We're staying nearby to there and we're also going to have the chance to sing and rehearse at Carnegie Hall, which is one of the world's most prestigious venues for uh, live performances. Is there anything you are excited about? I'm excited to take students uh, on such a fun trip to New York City. There, there's really no place like New York City and we're gonna have the opportunity to um, experience a lot of things that are once in a lifetime opportunities. Do you know if any other schools are going? Yes, we're traveling with William Blunt High School, we're traveling with Heritage High School, and Maribel High School will also be in New York City for the same performance that we will be participating in. What do you expect your students to learn on this trip? I really hope that they learn the value of being a part of a large ensemble and have the chance to do uh, to perform music with a lot of other students their age uh, under the direction of a world-renowned composer and choir director in Rolo Dilworth. Uh, I'm excited for them to get the chance to do a mass choir sort of event. Uh, they're going to get the chance to have a couple of world premiere pieces, choir music that's never been heard before. Um, or performed before and so they're going to get those the, the moments to do some once in a lifetime things that uh, that can only be found through the opportunity of traveling uh, which is something that I hope that we get the chance to do more and more of perfect are you guys right are you guys excited about the New York trip I am really excited I'm excited I haven't been in New York before so it'll be a really fun trip to go on uh, are you excited about being in like a mass huge choir? So I've been in big choirs before, but this is probably the biggest choir that I'll be in, so it'll be a fun experience. I have not been in a larger choir before, so it'll be a new experience and I'm really excited about it. Okay, what is your favorite thing about being an English teacher? My favorite thing about being an English teacher, specifically at this school, is I love my English team in this hallway. They are fantastic. Um, I also absolutely adore that English is something that has a variety of things in text. So if something isn't for you, there's going to be something else out there that is. And it leads to a ton of discussions and I get to know my students so well just based on what they tell me in class and they connect with what they've read. Cool. Um, what are you and your students uh, reading right now? Uh, right now, we just finished up today reading Two Kinds by Amy Tan from the Joy Luck Club. And on Monday, we are starting to read a text called Dreaming of Heroes, and it is from Friday Night Lights. And that's the last text in this unit we're going to read before moving on. Okay, thank you. Have you ever taught in another school? If so, how is this school different? Yeah, uh, I taught previously at Farragut Middle School just for like a semester uh, when I was first starting out. Um, being a middle school, that that really wasn't my thing. Uh, I really prefer high school students. Uh, it's fun watching y'all grow into adults, uh, and this is the, this is the part where y'all are getting your independence, starting to think for yourselves, and it's awesome to be part of that process. What's the differences between all of your classes? Between all of my classes. Um, they're just different. Every class has its own personality. Um, some are a little bit louder than others. Some are a little bit quieter. Uh, but it's, I mean, the best thing about the job is just getting to know everybody, getting to know all the students, and just learning all those different personalities. Like everything from some of the wildest students to some of the quietest, I've really enjoyed teaching them all.